hello hello it is so good to be back i am really excited about this series and doing this whole like get ready busy time so um obviously i'll be working on that title but <laughs> I just got out of the shower. My face is so dry as you can see. That's why it's looking ashy. But I figured I would literally take you guys even through the skincare portion to really show you that this is a super, super easy look. Like I said, trying to do things that are easy. What if you're busy, on the go? I do have a friend that I'm meeting up with for lunch. So I figured what a better time because I am actually rushing to show you guys a 15 and under makeup look busy glam maybe that'll be the title i don't know what do you guys think about that leave comments down below on what you think i should name this series it's basically about how you can still do your makeup look glam people think that you took all this time but really you didn't so just now i just used my kane and austin uh miracle pads which are the glycolic pads i talked about in the skincare routine just to kind of help like clear up my skin because it's been pretty clogged i'm not gonna lie i haven't been taking the best care of my skin yeah dive into the rest of what i'm using on my face so i'm just using this l'oreal revitalist it's the 10 percent pure vitamin c concentrate i like to take a little bit of that it really helps with dark spots and just kind of brightening your overall skin i also am taking the l'oreal Revitalist. This is the 1.5% pure hyaluronic acid, which this is definitely great for right now. It's winter time. It's super dry. So I like to just take a couple little drops of that. Then I'm using my Dermalogica. This is the solar defense booster. Basically it is sunscreen and it is the SPF 50. So I am also going to add a drop of that because you definitely don't ever want to use vitamin C and not have some sunscreen on your face because it'll actually make your dark spots darker. It's just not good. So I like to rub that. I'm really going over my nose because for some reason this is the area that just gets super, super dry for some reason. Under my eyes, I'm taking my Mario Badescu Hyaluronic Acid Eye Cream. Last but not least, I'm taking this Clinique. This is the Moisture Surge cream that they have. I, again, like to use this as a daytime moisturizer and I only use just a little bit. I apologize for how long I've been gone. I have no excuse. I just literally, I was a jerk and I put this channel on the back burner and I apologize, but I am back. I did have some things go on. You guys see too right now, actually as we speak, it's Vlogmas, so I have a video every day on my vlog channel, but that does not excuse not coming on here to still show beauty stuff because this is where it all began. My passion of YouTube was watching makeup videos. For my base, this has not changed at all. I am again using the Pericone MD. This is their Miracle, what is it? No, instant blur, sorry. Uh, this stuff I've talked about in the hauls. I absolutely positively love this as a primer. It seriously does such a good job at blurring the skin for the most part, keeping my oil under control. I can still get pretty oily when I'm not taking care of my skin the best way, which is what's been happening to me as of lately is I get oily by the end of the day just because I haven't been doing the best of my nighttime skincare because I've been tired. Like I've been taking my makeup off, don't get me wrong, but I have been definitely slacking when it comes to really taking the time to do what I need to do. So I still just feel like even from like my last video when I talked about when you're not gonna do a lot of makeup, really make sure that like your skin looks good because that's what you kind of almost want the focus to be is your skin versus your eyes being all super glittery because you're probably not, right? You probably didn't do a bunch of that. So you really just wanna make sure that it's like where you're gonna put your time in with this makeup is the skin. That's gonna be the majority. So I just use the 
Cover FX. This is the Power Play Foundation, and I'm in the shade in 110. Just taking that, and then I'm just taking this flat kabuki brush from Sigma and gonna blend that into the skin. I'm gonna go ahead and let this towel kind of come off of my weave here because it's pulling on my unit, and when your hair is wet, because I did wash it. And then if you have a towel on there too long, it's going to pull it. I got to fix like this hot mess, but I'm going to show you guys because I don't have time to be doing all that. How I still can just go out the house Ugh, looking pretty prim and proper without all that. So I am now just taking my Bye Bye Under Eye from It Cosmetics and I am in the color Deep Nude and I'm also taking the Kat Von D Locket concealer so I'm gonna put some of that on the under eye because as you can see your girl did not get a lot of sleep I'm taking another it cosmetics airbrush concealer brush and I'm just going to use that to kind of press and buff it under my eye and I really just like this stuff as like a good base I really do feel like once you figure out how to work and use it it works like at first I was like this is so thick how am I ever going to use this stuff and then I kind of figured it out how it worked for my under eye and I have been loving it of how much it just brightens and really does help your under eye area like tremendously so it's pretty greasy looking and I like to kind of leave it like this actually and then I go in with the concealer that I want to use I'm going to also go a little bit on the forehead the chin the nose take my dirty ass beauty blender I'm not even gonna lie and I'm going to do swift but gentle still, it's not gonna probably look gentle, but I'm patting this into the skin and looking up and I'm kind of patting in towards my eye and then down just to really kind of get in all of those little crevices. I'm going to actually take the Too Faced uh, Born This Way Translucent Deep Powder and immediately set all over my face. I love this little setting brush. This is from Real Techniques. And so, like I said, I'm going to go in, especially under the eye, because that's where I can get a little wrinkly. And we're going to set it. The thing about this is my under eye is probably still not going to look brighter than the rest of my face, especially since I'm using the same powder to set all over. But I'm not really caring about that. Again, I'm just wanting my skin to look pretty decent pretty nice I just want to put some makeup on my face so that I don't scare anybody but this isn't about being perfect we're like oh I like your makeup and really you're like <laughs> if only you knew really how long this took switching actually what I'm gonna use I'm using the expert face brush from real techniques and I like to tap excess and then kind of push that into the skin and blur it as well I'm someone that I think no matter what brows are the window to like your soul so I'm gonna go in with my LA girl shady brow pencil and this is in the color blackest brown and I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of line out my brows if you have really like nice full brows then I would say just go in and just do just a little touch of a brow filling because it never hurts to shape up your brows really just kind of make them look nice and filled in but as you can see mine are like it's like I look like I might have thick brows but I really don't I have like sparse brows so I really do have to kind of fill them in but I'm doing more light-handed strokes because I'm not gonna go in with like the Anastasia I'm not doing really heavy eyes I like to just do this brow pencil because I feel like it's light enough that it then doesn't make me look like I have too harsh of brows. And I know that's looking like real crazy compared to this one, but you'll see how I kind of clean it up and 
blur it out a little bit. Then take a spoolie. I'm gonna brush up and basically just brush these brows out. And what I find is that it ends up just filling in my brows enough that they don't look so sparse and bad, but they don't look so heavy either. And then I'm just gonna go into any spots that might still just need a little bit of a touch up because it might have, the spoolie sometimes can take away a little bit too much in this right brow all the time. I'm just gonna go ahead and take my concealer and carve out my brows. Forgot to say I'm using my Studio Fix concealer in just NW45, the old fashioned kind that just came in the little pot. And then I really like to use this brush right here. This is just the Real Techniques uh, concealer brush. If you have been riding with me for a while, then you know I cannot do life without false lashes. So again, always my tip is to go ahead and put the glue onto your lashes whatever ones you want to use and let those kind of be sitting and getting tacky while you finish up the rest of your eyes i'm gonna go ahead and finish up my eye by just using this color pop black eyeliner i think the color is like rubbed off and everything but i'm pretty sure the color is called swerve and i'm just going to put that along my bottom waterline. And then my little tip is to just do the outside of your eye, just like that. And for some reason, I feel like it just kind of connects the two pieces of your eye together without you having to really do top liner. I am gonna go in with the Warrior Palette from Juvia's Place. This time, I'm gonna get a little bit fancy and just take two brushes here. So first one is the Morphe M53, which is basically kind of a little bit of a thicker, but kind of domed top uh, lid brush. And then I'm just taking also this Morphe PK36, which is just a crease blending brush. I'm gonna go into this color Dahome, Dahomey? It's like this, it's this color right here. It's this color right here. I'm gonna literally just dust this very generously over the lid. Ooh, that is gorgeous. I don't think I've used this color yet from this palette. That's beautiful. Literally kind of just brushing it up and taking it even kind of up into the crease. And then because of just the shape of my eyes and just the way that I operate, you guys, I'm not even gonna lie, I just always have to have a little bit more definition to my crease. So I'm just taking that dark shade here in the palette. Uh, it is Mino. And I'm just going to lightly, just on both sides, put just a little definition in that outer V of my eye and kind of swirl it and take it in so that it just kind of all blends together. That's it. We're gonna go ahead and plop on my mascara and my falsies. Y'all, we're so close to finished. So I'm now just gonna take my Morphe Brontour and this is in the color Showmance. And I'm gonna go ahead and kind of double up here because I really don't have the time to do like full contour and all of that that I'm just going to, what I like to do is literally mix the two almost together, tap it off, and I'm just gonna kinda just bronze my face. I love to just always go in and just kind of at least bronze the face and stuff, we're gonna put some blush, just because your face is so flat with all your foundation and everything, you just wanna bring it to life a little bit more. Now, moving into lips, I am, I just exfoliated. I am using just a little bit of chapstick to kind of prep my lips. You just wanna do a bold lip, you guys and it's gonna make it look like you took all this time for your makeup, like a kid you not. So I'm using the Morphe, I think this is a lip pencil, if not, yeah, it's a lip pencil or color pencil and it is in the color Trendsetter. So it's kind of like this brown color right here. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips. I always, I don't know what it is for me, but I like to always create some sort of almost brown base to my reds. 
I just feel like it kind of contains them a little bit better. Uh, I just don't like personally my lips without having kind of a little bit of a liner to it. So then I'm taking the MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color in Carnivorous. As you could kind of see, I let that brown be the base. I took the red all over the lip and then I did not dip back into the bottle. I just took that applicator. I really like their applicators and then kind of really took it up and around my lips. So actually my lips don't really end up in the end looking very lined, but to me, I just, it contains it. Like I said, just way better, I feel like, than others. Now we're gonna move on to hair and outfit. This is like a full on get ready with me. Like I said, of glam. So that's the makeup look. When it comes to the hair, I am just, I had washed it. It is a wavy texture that I've got going on. And so actually the way that I like to do this is just kind of running my hands through. I'm gonna apply a little bit of product. Let me grab those. I personally really like the Not Your Mother's brand of products. I just feel like it's really nice and light, whether it's your hair or even on a unit. Um, so I'm taking this passion fruit kombucha and a Pawnee ginger. It's like a leave-in tonic. I just like that it smells really good. And then I'm also using the unscented hairspray. And so what I like to do is just kind of spritz a little on my hair, take a little bit of the hairspray and kind of spray it on there. And then I like to just kind of scrunch up the hair to really accentuate those waves that I've got going on. You guys not, I legit have about 10 minutes to leave this house. I'm taking just some fabric here. I'm gonna go ahead and tie up the front part of my hair and just kind of make a turban. I will do a turban video for you guys, but um, this one for purposes sake, just letting you know, I'm gonna put a turban just along the top of my hair here so that way you're not seeing that line. So here's the turban. So I've just tied that on my hair. Now it's time to get dressed. I'm gonna go ahead and just throw on this sweater dress that I got from Just Fab, which is just this super like kind of casual material here. And as you can see, it's gonna be the first time I'm wearing it. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that on, throw my boots on, put on some hoops, and then show you guys the finished look. Here is the finished look. So I just have these boots from Just Fab. Again, this dress from Just Fab. This jacket is from New York and Company. Yes, I switched to my phone, and then you see the turban. So that's the outfit, and I'm ready to go.